So you know how I said that I was gonna start this gallery wall over here in the family room like 18 videos ago? Well, I haven't yet because I haven't found the right mirror that I want to go in the very middle of it. And that was the most important part of the wall to me because I wanted to reflect these windows over here. So anyway, I finally found a mirror that I think is gonna work. I hope it's really cool. I really love it. And um, I've gotten some frames out. I'm gonna try and throw stuff on the wall and just see if it works. All right, mirror is up, perfectly centered on the wall. I don't know, it might be a little bit small, but I think with all of the photos around it, it will look proportionate and good. Fully. What I'm gonna do to figure out the layout of like how I wanna put the frames on the wall, I'm so nervous about this part. I am going to lay them on the ground and just try and like get a rough idea. I really don't wanna do the method where you like cut out paper and the size of the frames and tape them on the wall. I don't think it has to be that hard. Like I just think I need to like plop these frames on the wall because you know, they all go together, which is the main thing. So I just, I don't know. I'm gonna try and lay them out on the ground and we'll see how that goes. This is what it looks like now. I am so excited about this. The reason why I said that I was nervous to actually like put frames on the wall is because I knew that the frames and the art kind of had to go together in a way, you know, they needed to like kind of have the same color story going on so that it, you know, looked coherent with the room. I definitely learned that when I tried to do this in my last apartment, it didn't look very good. <laughs> But that's okay, you know, I am, I learned. And so it ended up being a kind of black and white-ish, wood tones, black kind of color story going on. We love it. It has like this vintage-y feel. So going forward with getting art in frames for this other side on the right, that was really helpful getting that left side set up. First of all, I'll say all of the frames on the wall right now are either, well, one of them I bought, but all of them are thrifted or were given to me secondhand, so trying to continue that theme. I went and thrifted a bunch of frames. I need to make some art and I am also waiting on another piece of art to get here to kind of finish off the wall, which I'm so excited about. Now that I have all of that figured out and I feel confident going forward, I'm gonna create some art for the rest of my frames. So let's do it. So after I got done framing some of the art and photos that I already had, I decided to create some text art using Canva and I have Canva Pro right now. It's just so much fun to create on here. I freaking love Canva. This is not sponsored. I just have so much fun in Canva. Here's some of the things that I made. I decided to go with the pink, please and thank you for the gallery wall, but I might use some of these other prints somewhere else in the house. We'll just have to see. So the noir print that you saw that I was trying to create on Canva, it wasn't really working out for me. I wanted to look a specific way that I had seen online and was inspired by. So I decided to just go into my Final Cut Pro. And sometimes I like to use, you know, Final Cut Pro as like a Photoshop or something. You know, I can kind of manipulate text and images pretty easily. Here's how I manipulated this text to look like this. I really love it. I'm not gonna use it on the gallery wall, but I might use it in my office kind of studio space in the house, which I am filming a video on that now. So stay tuned for that. found this last box of photos and like frames and stuff, I found 
these little wire shelves. I don't know if any of you remember, I thrifted these a, a while ago in Chicago. This might be perfect because I wanted to put a miniature little shelf right here above the thermostat so we could kind of just like throw our keys there or you know put like tiny little decor in it or something and kind of hide the thermostat a little bit. So yeah, I, it goes with the color scheme, it's black and I'm gonna see if it works there. So in the midst of doing all those other frames, I have another frame project here. So Ian and I went to Portugal a couple years ago and we actually got engaged there. And I got a few Portuguese tiles and I have them in these shadow boxes. So I just wanted to show you how I'm kind of like mounting them in the shadow box. Before in my other apartment, they were literally resting on like the tiniest little pins. <laughs> It wasn't the most secure thing in the world. Like they would always like tilt forward and fall all the time. Of course, I went on Instagram and asked you guys what you think the best way would be because I didn't really find all that much helpful information online. So I decided to try Velcro command strips. They're working pretty well so far, as you can see but I think the test will just be over time if they kind of come off of that fabric backing or not. I think that they can hold the weight of these tiles, but yeah, so I just wanted to show you real quick how I'm going to mount these tiles in the box. These were pretty easy to install the tiles on. So what I did was I kind of lined it up with my tile and then put the first one down on the fabric backing of the shadow box. And then what I did was stuck the other one to the Velcro on top, peeled that sticker off. And then I was able to kind of center the tile perfectly on there instead of sticking it to the tile first and then trying to line it up and get it centered. This was a much easier way to just make sure that they were both centered. So it worked out pretty well. I like how they look and I decided to hang all three of them in our tiny tiny front hall and I think they look great oh my gosh guess what just got here don't you better get pumped up you're gonna be so excited to see this <laughs> what is that look at him <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> What are you doing? Okay, right, I'm so, so excited for this. Sony, you're sleeping? Already? I haven't even opened it. Oh my gosh! Look at you! <laughs> Look at you! Oh wow! Oh wow! Let me show you. Look at this, Stony. You're gonna be on our wall. Thank you to Crown and Paw. This is what this little uh, canvas is from. So Crown and Paw makes your your pet, whatever animal it might be, into like a stoic little portrait. And they have canvases and even like blankets and posters and things like that. So you can pick from 150, I think, little costumes and you just upload a photo and then their artists kind of like remake it and this is gonna go on the gallery wall and it's gonna look so good. I'm so excited. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, but doesn't this look so cool? Like it it looks like a painting, but it looks exactly like Stony. Oh my gosh, I love it. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Let's see. So we're in the final days of getting this gallery wall finished. I still have to pick up the poster of the art that I made on Canva. And my last struggle is finding the right mat for this painting here. Okay, ah! When I was out getting that mat, to my surprise, my print was ready. So I got to pick it up. And so that means I can finish the wall today. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna frame it in its frame, which can I just add? Got this from the thrift store for $3 and it's literally brand new in the packaging. Amazing. So I'm gonna frame these two things and then hang the rest up and I will show you how it looks. I cannot wait. Thank you. 
So what do you think? I really, really love how this came out. Ian does too. I'm really glad that I did take my time planning this out because I found out a color story is very important to have when you're planning a gallery wall. If you have that, you can't fail. So don't be too scared to, you know, put one together if that's you. But next project will definitely be finishing the console table that I started like a couple months ago. I have a wonderful woodworking neighbor who's gonna help me with that. So I will film how I finish that. It's not really gonna look as flimsy as it is now. So look forward to that. I'm also also planning on starting my office kind of remodel soon. I'm gonna make it super colorful and fun. I just can't wait. So stay tuned and um, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.